Hi folks, today I wanna show how we add setup photos and videos right into our G-code on our CNC machines to help us build a process. Whether I'm running the part the next day, six months later, or somebody else is running the part, I've got two different examples here, uh, very different reasons why I think this process can be really helpful, but it's just that, it's a process. It's a way for us to improve process reliability and make it easier to run good parts and get the machines set up. The first example is the ModVice washer. We actually make this on our Haas ST20Y. And what's tricky about this part is the setup, especially on the subspindle, has to be perfect. In particular, we have to have the Royal GQ65 collet correctly clocked. And we make that easy by including a setup photo. On the Haas machine, the magic code is M130. The code is quite straightforward and this file location should remain the same. User data slash my media and then the name of your file.jpg. If you have problems with that, which I did the first time I tried this, you can cheat by copying the image onto your Haas machine. The Haas control is smart enough to see that it's a media file, so it'll automatically put it into the My Media folder. Then go into File and insert the media there, and it will automatically create that string. Again, this can really just help if you need to troubleshoot. In this specific program, prior to calling the M130, we're doing an M119R0. This is a Haas command that orients the sub spindle at R0 or angle zero. And that ties directly into the setup photo that we created for this one that's showing when the M119 is R0, the logo on this collet should be at 12 o'clock. It also confirms that the operator has switched over. We use a different ejector pin for this particular part. Making these photos is as easy as snapping a picture with your smartphone. You can edit them on your phone or in PowerPoint. You can also download free programs like GIMP, or if you really wanna up your game, leverage a website like Fiverr or Upwork where you can have a professional graphics designer make something that really looks nice and conveys that sense of pride in what you're trying to do. As an example with Upwork, we needed some new work order cards made. I did this in PowerPoint in about five minutes, sent it over to Upwork and for $11, got a really professional looking design, then sent them over to an online printing company and ordered a batch of these printed out of cardstock. What is unique about how we're using M130 in this part example is we will run these in batches of quite a few hundred, and I don't want the operators to see this prompt every single time. There are also some other things we wanna do when we do this initial setup. So the way we handled that was in Fusion, we have two different programs. There's a setup program in a main program. We first run the setup program, which has a specific list of things that we go through and check. It includes the M130 here. It can also include other things that can just be really helpful to make sure you've got the right tools, the right clearances, etc. Once that's done, we switch back over to the main program. I'm a big fan of building templates for all of your machines. In this case, we have a lathe master template. It saves a lot of our common operations, a lot of our common tooling for our SC20Y. And the first thing here we have is the M130 pass through. All I've got to do then is replace this with the actual file name if I want to use it. And if I don't want to use it in this particular file, it's as simple as deleting it. On the Tormach example here, same concept, a little bit of a different reason. I'm going to embed a video that can help remind me exactly how I want this fixture to rest inside the vise because I may not run this part for a year or when I do run it, I may forget or I may have somebody else run it. Tormach makes it really easy simply M00 and then in parentheses, the file name. Here I've got setup.mov, just a video I took on my iPhone. Pathpilot is based on Linux CNC. Linux is case sensitive, so both the file name and the extension have to be correct, not only in spelling, but also in the case. And you have to create a folder with a lowercase i images and copy that file into the folder. After the M00 with your file name, add an M01 to create an option stop that will require the operator to hit cycle start when they're ready to move forward with the program. As always, hope you folks learned something, hope you enjoyed. Stick around, we've got a video coming up building off of this, how we modified our code to create a user prompt that queries you every certain number of parts to say do a QC type of inspection. Otherwise, take care, see you soon.